Good day everyone, this is Africa HTV. Today we shall be discussing a pricing issue in the country. Telecom operators to increase tariffs for cars and digital services. All right, the Association of Telephone, Cables TV and Internet Subscribers of Nigeria, ATIS, has opposed the recent push by telecom operators to increase tariffs for cars and data what the one of the uh, operator called one uh, if you like say a kangaroo stakeholders meeting that without the art case as you all know i think nigerian telecom subscriber know the uh, the important role of art case and now when they are now calling for this is not the first time we've sent a letter to the NC, ncc that is the Nigeria communication commission dated june 23, 2023. And um, before then, we've seen a lot of we've seen a lot of uh, challenges that uh, uh, the telecom industry have been impairing us. We are not enjoying their services, mm. and I'm proud to say that being the national president, we receive day by day complaint which we send to the uh, NCC. Yeah, NCC is trying their best. But the truth is this, if you are to do, if you are to make Nigeria great, it is involve me and you. But operators should not just be saying they want to be getting profit. They should, we should have value of what uh, the, the uh, subscriber are paying for. But between me and you, we are not seeing the value. We are just trying to manage till when. Okay, so uh, in a report uh, uh, at this meeting, I believe, with some of the telco uh, stakeholders and NCC that also took place recently, I'm not sure if we're referring to the same meeting, but one of the issues was brought up by the telcos was that operating costs are ballooning. Of course, we know that everything in Nigeria is increasing in cost. Now, they were saying that one of the measures that might need to be undertaken is a form of load shedding where telco service provision is concerned, meaning that some towers will have to be shut down because they can no longer afford to operate all of their towers at once. So how does this tie in? Because you're saying that we're not getting the right service. We're not getting good service. Is it possible because then they can no longer afford to give us the type of service we need? So don't you think it's fair for them to be able to meet their operating costs? Well, well, let me first correct impression of their last meeting that you just quote now. NCC are not there. NCC are not in that meeting. I'm proud to let the Nigerian know that through ATKIS, I'm a board member to ICAF NCC. And I, I, NCC carry all the members of ICAF along. But through this, this is not the first time, like, like I said. You see, there is a procedure in doing anything. As you have, you are beautiful, and to make your hair, you need to go to salon. And uh, if you want to do a, a home service, they need to come down to you. But without your consent, no any beauty, something can even do your own this thing. What we are placing uh, uh, on board is that before any operator coming, saying that they have their consumer advocacy body, NCC is the regulatory body, we need to put things in order. We, I think they need to talk to their own consumer first. Regulator is government institution. We are the ones that are buying their product. And as of today, the stand of telecom subscriber in terms of voice, we are close to 20 million. That will be all for today. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, comment, and share. Bye for now.